Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel, The Immigration Gurus. In this video, I am sharing a really big update related to Algoma University Project Management Program. It is opening for May 2023 intake tonight, 12 o'clock, and uh, it is opening for really uh, less number of seats. Uh, whosoever is not getting seat in January intake will automatically be deferred for May intake. It is uh, Jan intake is uh, closing today, so we need to submit the fee receipt today to get the final letter of acceptance for January intake. Right now we are submitting application visa applications for January intake only, and timeline is around two months right now, uh, 60 to 70 days around. So we are submitting the applications visa applications for uh, January intake, and whosoever is submitting. Uh, deposited the fee till now will get January intake if you have done it uh, till today if it is not submitted till today in that case uh, your admission will automatically be deferred for May intake so students who are not getting seat in January intake uh, they are automatically deferred to May intake so they are also going to fill up the seats also uh, uh, the seats number of seats are quite limited as well they are not as much as uh, September or Jan intake so seats are also limited and deferred uh, students are going to fill the seats as well so you need to apply for admission as soon as possible also uh, to all the visa uh, all the uh, counselors in the team so you need to confirm that your application is submitted and you need to you may need to follow up uh, a bit so but get the confirmation that your application is submitted also please provide all the documents uh, together quickly so that uh, they don't submit uh, half applications if the application is not completed in that case uh, you will not get the uh, offer letter for main take so that is going to be a problem as well uh, timeline I have already shared uh, right now it is 60 70 days uh, for study visa application and uh, uh, out of context but uh, for spouse visa it is around one month so uh, timeline is also improving so you you have time for general intake if you are submitting depositing your fee today uh, till today uh, so you will get the final LOA of January and you can submit your application and get uh, result on time and for May intake as well uh, you can submit uh, uh, get admission now and you will have some time to pay your fee and uh, apply for visa uh, eligibility wise uh, in Algoma University uh, just to uh, tell you again uh, you require six in all modules in IELTS academic so that is one test that is uh, uh, accepted so IELTS six in all modules PT I guess 60 is uh, required or you can take Duolingo if you don't have IELTS score uh, ready with you in that case you can take Duolingo test as well and that can be used for admission in Duolingo you require uh, total overall score is 110 110 uh, and no less than 90 in any module so either take IELTS if you already have IELTS academic in that case submit your application with IELTS if IELTS academic is not available in that case you can take uh, a Duolingo test quickly and you will get the result uh, day after tomorrow uh, and you can use that test to submit your application uh, do not wait for any deadline to submit your application because uh, Algoma University just opened it for quite uh, less number of seats and you may not get seat after some time so do not wait for any last date for visa application submission because you may not get it after a few days it may be there for two three four days and uh, seats can be filled really quickly because uh, people are following uh, Algoma University a lot and we are also depositing so many applications already I guess uh, 30 40 applications already there in uh, queue and uh, those students applied for May intake uh, and uh, automatically the application went for September intake because that time May intake was not open so all those applications we are going to roll back for May intake now and uh, oh, sorry I left few things in eligibility so IELTS 6 in all modules uh, du or Duolingo 110 uh, no less than 90 55 percent either in bachelor's or in a UG diploma after 12th so eligibility wise you can go for a PG diploma after UG diploma as well so if you have 12th uh, if you have 12th uh, uh, sorry if you have done 12th and a UG diploma uh, two or three year of UG diploma and uh, or you have done bachelor's in that case you can get admission in this PG diploma as well so it is perfectly fine to go for uh, this particular program visa success rate of Algoma University is really high right now the application fee is around hundred dollar and uh, there is no backlog restriction you can have any number of backlogs and get admission and you there is no gap restriction as well people with age 45 as well uh, 
got visa with the algoma university project manager program so program is really great uh, almost all uh, type of backgrounds have uh, got visa with this particular program except hr and right now we are applying with hr background as well for this program first time i am trying that apart from that sales finance it civil mechanical production you name it editing uh, graphics uh, marketing uh, all kind of backgrounds uh, and uh, recently we have got visa with different unique profiles as well uh, clerks also got visa with this uh, particular program so program has really great visa success rate and you can justify any background with this particular program so you can just uh, trust this program and the university as well this is the only public university having two year of project management program so that's why it is highly recommended pro uh, university it is uh, a default uh, uh, kind of uh, option for me i usually go with algorithm pro uh, project management because most of the time i have much mature type of cases and for them going to university always improves the visa chances so that's why it is highly recommended so it is working great for me and uh, students are uh, getting great success as well uh, with this particular program so it is highly recommended and you can also go for it and you can secure the seat now and we can look for other options if you want to explore other options as well but for now it is always beneficial that uh, you secure a seat and later on we can proceed for or, uh, uh, other applications if you want to submit somewhere else as well uh, you can get admission after MBA as well so any kind of uh, degrees uh, with any kind of degree you can proceed with that even after a PGDM or MBA you can proceed with the project management so uh, really a great option so just proceed for it uh, submit your application as soon as possible contact details uh, just uh, let me share mm. Okay, so just note down the numbers. You can call to Mansha. Uh, the number is plus nine one nine three two eight double zero double zero four five. Or you can try to call to Jyoti. She may be busy, uh, but you can try. Uh, Jyoti may be available. Nine nine eight nine. Sorry, uh, for Mansha it is nine three two eight double zero double zero four five. Uh, Jyoti it is uh, nine three. Three eight double zero double zero four five. My number is also there nine eight one two three eight zero double eight two. You can call me as well. If I miss the call, I will try to call you back, or I will make a WhatsApp group with the admission team for you. But confirm your admission. Uh, confirm the submission of your uh, admission tomorrow. And uh, uh, last is Urvashi. Uh, she is also available. Uh, number is seven four three one double zero double zero four five. So you can try these numbers and uh, uh, we'll help you in uh, submission of your application thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you in next video